Arlen, you open your eyes and what you enter, or that what you see before you is an elderly hooded man, shadowed covered skin, a robe that almost blends into starlight. And he is standing by a podium with a scale. In his hand is a bag of pebbles. And he's putting one in each side, balancing it. You hear his voice, deep, resonating, echoing in this void that surrounds you with essentially this spotlight on this figure. So, it seems we are to weigh your options, dear Arlen. Melt. <laughs> and she kind of just sit and turns her head down and like crosses her hands just in front of her. <laughs> Your reverence is appreciated, my child. Come, stand with me. She goes. You know who I am. Your prayers have been heard, I must assure you. What do you feel your purpose has been? My purpose, it has to guide uh, everyone's soul to to aid those who cannot help themselves a, to uh, uh, to protect everyone you feel as though you have done so oui absolutely Death is but part of life. Mm -hmm. You taught me that. Do you fear death? No, jamais. Do you look to evade it? No. Do you view it as evil? No. One, two, three pebbles on one side as it sinks lower. To fear death delivers you into the hands of those who can bring death upon you. Do you feel as though your death came with dignity? Oui, absolutely. I was protecting, uh, I was protecting the others, and I oh, see the the undead that were there. I was assisting in in making sure that they could not hurt anyone else, and that they were that they would be rid of. Are you they? Feel it's, that those. And she were. looks around at this point. Mm. Où sont les autres? Where are the others? It is only you and I. Oh. Your soul has departed. But we are... deciding where it shall go. 
I understand. Those who look to me, I tell them to die with dignity, neither raging nor seeking to embrace undeath. To honor the dead. For their strivings in life brought this world to where it is now. To forget them is to forget also where we are now and why. Do you feel like you can save those that took your life? I'm not shocked that I understand. Were they not those that took her? The only thing that I remember is someone standing over me and they, they hit me hard with Pusiok attack. Uh, are they not gone? Did the others not get... <sighs> they are no more. But yet at the same time, they never were. I, I do not want revenge or... Uh, Another like... pebble on the scale as it weighs heavier on one side. And as the scale touches the pedestal, you wake up back on a table in a tent, the tent where you were working for this festival. Mm -hmm. There you see the head cleric and several others surrounding you. They see that you have awoken. And the last image you see is the flash of a disappearing diamond hovering over your chest. Mm -hmm. These are the envoys who have looked over in this ritual. They look at each other nervously. It is done. Arlen? Uh. Ma tête. Mm, Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Are you okay? She's gonna do channel divinity and uh, check if she's undead. You feel the breath of life, a living being once more just as you've always been. As far as I know, I think I'm okay. What's going on? Where are the others? I need you to rest. Where are the others? Where are they? Are they hurt? Are they are in the hall. Are they hurt? We have tended to their wounds. Are they okay? It is not for us to say their judgment of what happened. And this is uh, Halen Gorbold speaking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we have met formally. I am our uh, wizard envoy here at the guild. I, uh, yes. Here to, uh, here to assist Joanna. And, uh, you see that Joanna Bog is kind of staring nervously and holding onto her, her, the hilt of her sword tightly as it's firmly planted into the ground. Elden Bog has joined her at this point. He is looking disheveled. 
He looks at you with like a relaxed, uh, like relieved smile. Oh, it's good to see you, girl. I... I hadn't planned on going anywhere. But then... I should hope not. <laughs> I... Then... Merci. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Desiree. For all the trouble that we may have caused. No, 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 no. No trouble at all. If anything, you saved this pe these people. All of you. Let out. I gotta help clean up. Some people you, who need me. Do you need. I can. No, no, no. I can you rest. Help? And that's where uh, Megara Levine, the head cleric, comes in. Child. You have just been brought back to life. This is something that has not been done in quite a long time. In fact, it is not meant to be done. We cannot speak of it outside of this tent. The halls of where your friends are, are of, are sacred to us. It's where we lie all of our trust within each other as members of the guild. So we hope that you will respect our wishes in making sure that any discussions of what has happened stay within here or amongst your allies. I do not wish to get anyone in trouble, but then why do it? You all have questions, as do we. These may need to be discussed together, and we may find answers together. I'm gonna pause from that moment. The rest of you, in the halls of the Wayfinders Guild, you are surrounded by artwork of past envoys. There are texts available for research. There is uh, a tinkering labs. There is a, an assortment of all sorts of food in the kitchen. Uh, they have a very large common room um, with a beautiful fireplace, these luxurious couches. It, it seems as though it's definitely a place for respite and uh, for those to share stories of adventures. However, it's a bit dusty in some places and it's very quiet as this has not been a hall that seems very active. And you five are the only ones other than some staff that are in this building at the moment. I would have immediately gone into that kitchen and found the nearest waitstaff and said, bring me a bottle of whiskey and a glass. Thank you. A uh, young half-elf uh, male doesn't even question it. Goes right to the uh, cabinet glasses I pick up a second glass and I take the bottle and I go thanks and I bring it out to the common room and I just put one glass on the table and my glass and I pour the whiskey out and you all see me pouring a little bit more than the usual amount that would be appropriate for such sized glass and I just pick it up and I just sip Um, found the comfiest looking couch or chair and kind of curled up into the corner of it and has her lyre out and she's playing just a calming song. It, 
Are there any windows in the, uh... Uh, yeah, the there are these, uh, there's some beautiful stained glass windows that are showing some reenactments of, of epic battles. Uh, and then there are, um, there's like a stairwell in that common room that kind of leads up to these balcony areas where there are other bookshelves and busts and paintings and windows now that overlook uh, the city. I'm going to head up to uh, one of the stairwell landing ones and just rest my great sword right up against the side there and put both hands alongside the windowsill and just kind of stare out blankly, not saying a word, not doing anything, just staring straight out the window. DM, is there a fireplace in this kind Yes, of- it is quite large and very warm and um, very active. Cool. Um, Maring is going to kind of go to the side of it and kind of like, if the fireplace is here, it's going to sit with her back against the wall where the fireplace is and just kind of sit on the floor, draw her knees up to her chest and just rest her head on her knees next to the fireplace. And as they're all taking in these quiet moments, you hear footsteps as... uh, Um, Halen Gorbald comes in with his staff he just kind of gives a small tap on the stone floor to kind of try and get your attention my friends if you would, wouldn't mind just gathering together here I, I have some good news um, I remain with my back turned staring out the window Your friend is okay. Her wounds have been taken care of. She is on the mend and she will need some time, but she will be joining you shortly and we will all be talking together about your future here. I set down my glass of whiskey and I go, well, I'm glad that uh, every appropriate action has been taken. Sorry, is this a joke? (sighs) What do you mean? Is she really alright? Yes, she will be joining us shortly. Um, how? Um, (sighs) She obviously took a hard bump to the head, and the docs took a little bit longer than usual to try to fix her up, right? (laughs) And I look him straight in the eye with a very knowing connection of, nothing happened in that tent, just the normal stuff. Walk, I'm not an idiot. You're being an intimidation Me? Yeah. I'm tr- I'm agreeing with them. I'm not trying to intimidate oh, them. Bad, but I'm just All right. Just curious. Ooh, natural 19 minus 1 18. <laughs> Charisma he, of 9. <laughs> he does kind of look off to the side, being caught off guard. Just at the abruptness of the question. Yes. No. We... So, something happened there, and it's something that wasn't right. And you guys know it wasn't right. Oh, for fuck's sake, not this platinum dragon bullshit. If you start right now. Gentlemen, it... gentlemen, please. Now is not the time. Walker, it doesn't matter. She's fine. Finn, it doesn't matter. She's fine. That's all that matters. And in that moment, you hear the door open, and um, Joanna is uh, walking alongside Arlen as she comes in, into the common room. 
Luna's gonna just run up and wrap her in a hug. I also I leave my lyre on the on the couch and I just run up. And Luna's to like starting to sob a little, <laughs> grabbing as hard as they can. Bonjour. <laughs> and then, oh. Oh, boy. I'm very happy to see you. How 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 is everyone? Are you are you okay? Is fine now. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Don't don't worry about us. It's so feeling fun. all right. I, uh, they they tell me that I am that I am okay. I I I don't I don't feel great, but. Uh, Ça va. Ça va. <laughs> I, 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 I. Why do I? T- why do they taste cotton candy? Oh, that was that. That, that was me. <laughs> I, oh, um, merci. Probably some of my good berries. Sorry, oh, for throwing and yeah, we... good berries. Yeah, <laughs> you might no, want to clean it... up your face after that. <laughs> yeah, I shoved all ten in your throat. I'm really <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think they helped. Merci. I, uh, are you sure you're? Everyone is okay? I I just... I slowly turn from the the stairs where I am now and slowly start to walk down Mm -hmm. and start to make my way straight towards Arlen, just with a slow, methodical walk straight towards her. I make make it a point to kind of put half my shoulder in that path and just stare him down as he walks towards her. I promptly shove the shoulder as hard as I can straight out of the way. I like cock the gun in the holster and like, why don't you think about it? I continue walking. Luna's still unpanting our <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm still I'm still uh, yeah, yeah, we're still now, like I would on, on, definitely on, not on. letting go. There's yeah, like yeah. three bodies on uh, <laughs> hugging our <Arlen. laughs> As this little br- bravado match goes on, no, I and as I get right into Arlen's face, mm-hmm. I just look right I up think... at her because it's still fairly tall. <laughs> I, I think I think just as you're doing that, she would just dissolve to the others and sort of like try to get them to unlock. Because I suspect she saw you coming. I was not hiding. It. <laughs> I, I know you weren't. Forced. I know you weren't. And she's going. <laughs> yep. Continue. I apologize. Now Luna will go away, but kind of still do like a ready to defend. Mm-hmm. I'm going to um, step away, um, but only barely. But I think more of my attention is actually on Awaka at the moment. Mm-hmm. Arlen, um, Arlen would stand up as straight as she can weekly. <laughs> so. And Maring will also kind of stand up. A, she's been kind of in a trance this whole time, even seeing Arlen walk in the room, but seeing how serious Finn is walking to the window and it kind of snapping what's happening, uh, she's going to stand up and just kind of say, Finn? Let's see. I reach up, I gently put my hand across her or on her shoulder about mm-hmm. as high as I can reach mm-hmm. which was probably more like your elbow I was going to say I, <laughs> she would she would mm-hmm. bend down to you <laughs> at this point like she's she'll try to match you eye to eye ah. <laughs> respectfully <laughs> and I just turn to you and go Arlen you're actually the one I feel worse for right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I click the hammer down. You've been lucky enough to be given a second chance right now. And I feel bad that you're always going to need to live up to that. Something special was meant for you now. And as I'm saying it, I'm actually letting a little bit of my lay on hands warmth to give more of a comforting warmth along with it mm-hmm. to kind of 
try to give the semblance that I'm not saying it in an intimidating manner, Mm -hmm. that it, it, out of a genuine compassion, just looking you dead in the eye, Mm -hmm. and just saying, you've been given a second chance. I know you, I know you were the one that didn't want to be going along with all of this. You were only here to help. And for that, I'm truly sorry. And I just take my shoulder, my hand down, turn and face the envoys that are there and say, you're the ones that are going to have to be the one to live with this decision. You've made your decision. Oh, she had no say in it. And turn and start to walk back towards the window. Finn. Piece of shit. I stop. Sepa, it, it's not my second chance. That I got a long time ago. This is my third. Then you've got an even higher bar to live up to. <laughs> At this point, uh, Elden uh, Bog also jun- comes in, um, catches up. Luna's gonna his... run over and grab Elden and a hug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, good to see you too, mate. Um, sorry, sorry, just almost died. In... No, 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 it's all right. It's all right. Nice. Glad to be the they popular back, one. <laughs> they, back, they back back up. <laughs> uh, sees Joanna. So, um, what do we do? Now, Joanna has been silent this whole time. And she looks at Halen. And Halen just says, I think, um, I think that all of you have questions. We do as well. First, we'd we'd just like to bring you all to just a more formal setting, if you wouldn't mind coming with me. And he leads you down one of the hallways. I grab the bottle. Sorry. I grab the bottle and the whiskey glass. (laughs) I grab mine too. (laughs) I know how little or how much Luna has drank. (laughs) There's only like this much left in the class. You gotta pace yourself, kid. <laughs> uh, Halen takes you down a very uh, a long hallway, and eventually you get to this um, kind of like discussion room uh, with a very large, gorgeous uh, wooden table. These ornate chairs all circled around. Um, one never more uh, fancier than the other. In the center of the table is the symbol of the guild. And he gestures all of you to take a seat uh, as the uh, envoys take their seats all next to each other. Uh, with a flick of his wrist, uh, it, Halen has the lights, uh, the candles flicker up and the beautiful um, candelabra above the table lights up as well. So, the first thing we need to ask, what is it exactly that you saw? Well, from what my count, three, uh, four undead and what looked like a fucking wraith. I mean, I've never seen, I've never seen a creature like that before. Have seen ones like the shuffling kind. By the way, Many of them resembled a certain group of people that we encountered in an alley a day or so ago. One of those individuals was caught and put in jail. I told one of your guys to go to the jail cell to find him. Any word? Because if not, then you got an undead inside of a jail cell. Seems that there was another part, that there was another of that member of that group that seemed to have run off. Uh, they... See, what we found out is that they were a scout of some sort, and um, they were watching from above. 
and once they saw that you were all handling them quite well, they ran away. We believe that may have been the one that came back that you initially encountered. So we got out of the jail cell. No, no, this is a completely different one. Uh, oh. The one that is has been incapacitated is still in jail. But he's alive? Yes. So yeah. to speak. Is he well, actually well, yes. alive or like dead alive? Oh, you uh, and you and you hear an Elden go, you beat the living hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's up to Elden, please. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, that answers one of my questions. If uh, the people in this group were somehow all turned into these things. <sighs> but yeah. When you disposed of them, what happened? Well, I think everybody here can attest the guard came. I think we took out collectively about three of them. One of them had part of his leg blown off, and that was my doing. But uh, he Luna, was. Luna takes something out of their satchel and holds up the jawbone. One of them lost the jaw and their life. Well, on life. Uh, why, do you have why, why did you keep that? Memento. No, he, it, oh. Eldon starts uh, laughing like he gets it. Joanna just shut up. Sorry. So we have heard of obviously undead creatures. Uh, we have heard of. Long ago, stories of different chapters facing undead, and I myself at one point, uh, we encountered uh, wraiths, as you said, uh, but something was very odd about all of this as we looked at the grounds. There was some sort of hemocraft going on, blood magic. Oh, great. Marrying just kind of sheepishly, which she's not usually sheepish, so she just goes. Oh, she's a Aragon. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> and she just goes. I mean, um, I've been I've been hit by necrotic energy, but um, it felt a little bit different. It. How do I explain it? It felt like my blood ran cold, but then hot, and then it was nothing. Like, my nerves just stopped when it reached in to did that little weird hand grabby into my chest thing. That was weird. I don't know if that helps, but... Malin thinks for a minute and looks at Joanna and... Megara. Megara just sounds like a vampiric touch. So, so the vampire zombies? Is that what we're saying? We can't start just naming creatures. Wait, uh, does that mean I'm a vampire now? Uh, no, 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 no. That would be re- that would be kind of cool, cool though. That, that, that no, would be kind of cool. Everyone, everyone, not, everyone please. would not this be is... cool. Please, please. Uh, Maring, your teeth have always been that pointy, okay? Oh, uh, uh, right, all right. Being she checks vampire, her two buck teeth and she's being, like... Being a vampire is not fucking cool, okay? Can we all agree on that? That is just a stereotype that needs to die. Alright, party pooper. No, I agree. I don't want to be a vampire, and I know what's cool, okay? That's true, she's pretty cool. It is true, you're, you're rather cool, yeah. Thank Joanna you. Joanna just sighs, and takes her head in her hands. Problem? Joanna, you're right. Uh, sudden headache, I can help you with that. No, no, it's... It's quite good. It's fine. Um... When you fought in the alley after leaving my brother's bar, there was mist in the area. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. A, a lot of, fog. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Was like it a fog or was it mist? Tell you the truth, it was seemed kind of sudden because when I walked into this bar, it was not rainy or a cloud in the sky. So either it was a. Uh... We couldn't see, so it was thick. Had to be fog then. Yes. Right? Yeah. But something. Hmm. Would I know the difference that he's that they're referring to? Seems that she is trying to. Well, you know, roll insight. And anyone else can roll inside too. If to look into okay, that is a nine plus three is twelve. Seventeen. Eyes. <laughs> well, anyone else? Okay. I am going to whisper a message to you, Mark. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, secrets are no fun unless they're shared with everyone. Secret, oh secret. boy! No, wait. <laughs> De- depends oh, on no. how big the secret is. If just, I share it, <laughs> just a just a red dot in the shape <laughs> of ears appears no. on my chest. Like, ah! don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Stand out for the crowd. <laughs> no, we will. We will get sued. <laughs> yeah, please don't kill us. <laughs> it's only like three seconds. I think once it hits five, you're that that's when they can see yeah. you. <laughs> that's when like <laughs> something grows out of the shadows. <laughs> Just... I, I honestly don't think we could say what the cause of it was. Very well. Um well we have one more question. You all fought, from all accounts, very well together. How do you know each other? Well, that actually. Well, means... actually, so, sorry, but. No, go ahead. Are you sure? She tells. Yes, Mary. Well. She 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 tells it the best. Yeah. Okay, so listen, so. It was like this dream, but it could have been a premonition. We don't really know. Just know that we're awesome. Okay? So there was Tiamat just comes out like rah, ah, like ah, actual actual ah. Tiamat. Sorry. Yes. yes. It, no, it's okay. Add actual to Tiamat. It. If I'm yeah. forgetting something. Get yeah, Tiamat all the heads like rah, rah, rah. I was flirting really, with her. Yes, you yes, you strange. were Luna and it was amazing. Oh, and then yeah. and then uh squibbles and then squibbles comes out on my shoulder um it's like yeah was a full dragon and okay and we're just like in this volcanic area and we just start freaking wrecking her man like just sh- that one feathers right over there just and then i'm on uh, squibbles crazy and i like shoot her in one of her eyes i own i know she's got this like this whole time like, every envoy is looking at you like <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like a dream, but it wasn't because even when I woke up, I felt like so, so like ripped, man. I felt so powerful, like more powerful than I already am. You know what I mean? Powerful. Like, right, a power yeah. up, if you will, right. And and then then Arlen was just like, oh, yeah. and then Finn was like, yeah, 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 and then we were fighting, but it wasn't enough, and and then. And then the, the, the earth caved in. And we died. And we yeah, died. We, yeah, we, yeah, all yeah, died. Right, we all died. But, but we, all had, we all had the same dream. But then we met, we met at Elden And then Bar. we met in real life. At we Elden. met at the Fishing Flask. Just like, yeah, our place. Just like, our place. like yesterday. It was yeah. insane. Well, well oh. Finn and I knew each other. Owaka like, just kind of rubs his temple like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I'm just... Oh, yeah, I knew Andy from, from, uh, from grade school. Okay, okay, everyone, everyone, everyone. Um, um, we're meant to be together. What, what do the envoys look like on their faces? Just as, as <laughs> kind of like they are just like, <laughs> what did we just get ourselves into? <laughs> oh, I, I'm gonna turn and go at, once she wraps up the story. I just go, what do you not believe us and try to intimidate the show? <laughs> <laughs> Roll intimidation, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> 21. 
<laughs> they're all kind of just like I think it's raised more questions uh, than what we certainly initially thought I kind of um, raise my hand and I go well that was what one of my questions was going to be personally I don't think besides Andy and what uh, Maring just described I personally only have known four of these people for two days so Agreed. I think I think uh, everybody in this room would agree that some time to discuss who we are is in order but, I'm Luna uh, I, yes I, I know I know your name they, they're kind of charmed at this point by, by what Luna is trying to do and um, <laughs> Megara looks over to Arlen and she kind of notices that you've been quiet for the most part. If at this point, um, if she still, like, if she has the stuff that she originally came with, then she's sat spinning her prayer wheel. Hmm. Well, we are going to take the time to speak with a few the authorities that captured um, those uh, ruffians that you encountered in the alley. And we are also going to speak with people who were organizing at the festival to see if there was some sort of breach or why why our other chapter members weren't able to detect some sort of creature like this. Oh, um, oh, oh. They all oh. came out of the tent, didn't they? No, no. They were, well... I don't know about that, but the original people, they were after Claude, uh, um, Francis. The bard? The bard. The fake bard. Yeah. The, well, I mean, he technically is a bard, like, uncredited, but it's not still. a good bard, but I mean. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, regardless, of, but they, no, they were after about his name. He's very pretty. He's rather pretty. Yeah, yeah so they were after him. They ran. Okay, well, we'll certainly look into that with speaking to the one that was captured. Uh, as for the you rest of you... You should probably check on Claude, though, just to make Francis. sure. Francis. Fra Francis, Francis, sorry. We'll look into the guest record to make sure that everyone who is proper... Excuse me. Everyone who is properly uh, mm -hmm. checked in for what was supposed to be a very entertaining concert. And, uh, I was looking forward to it, rather, actually. Yeah. It would have been hilarious. Apparently, nice. panty dropping. And Eldon just goes, ha! <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I, I mean, I will say that since Andy is was the last one in the tent, I'm pretty sure that makes her the winner just by default. I did Zion. play music in the tent Boo. at the time of the Battle of the Bards. So merely technically, we will winner. also keep that into consideration because there are, it seems... Bigger matters at hand. Uh, if you'll excuse <laughs> us, we will need to use this room to speak privately. Uh, you're free to use the hall uh, wherever you'd like, and um, uh, we will uh, try to expedite this process of what to do next. Can I ask a question? Yes, absolutely. Um, I would... Do we get to like be in the guild now, or do we still have to do like a trial? Or like, could this have been our trial so that like, I mean, we don't I, have to do another trial? I, mean, I almost feel like saving this. And like, you saving see the that city? Joanna has kind of like escorted your started to like take the bloody hint. <laughs> I, I kind of like spread out my wings and also usher oh. everyone oh, out of the room. Wings Whoa. Whoa. All right, all right, all right. Oh my god! Whoa. You That's do have sorry. feathers. And you see the you doors the close time. behind you. I mean, what? It was just a. Qu it was just a question. Well, can I'm you sure. Why? Like, were we all thinking it? Were we all thinking it? Because like we had yes. more. I'm thinking. sure they're gonna tell us any something Pride? about that once they're done talking in there. But let's just go sit in the living room because I think we all need to have a frank discussion. Yes, and I need more whiskey. Oh, fine, Dad. You, out of all people, don't need more whiskey. <laughs> I mean, it will make the discussion a little bit more frank. Uh, Luna, Luna, not Frank. Just go and sit. Just go sit in the living room. <laughs> right. As as we all come out, 
As we all come out into the common room, I go into the kitchen and I grab another glass, a clean one, and I pour a little bit in and I walk up to Arlen and I hand her the glass and I go, I think out of all of us, you might need this a little bit more, don't you? Merci. Um. All right. Yeah. And I kind of wait until everybody's situated and I post up in front of the fireplace and I go, now... I know some of y'all, but I think we can all agree that uh, this shared premonition or dream or awesome portent of things to come, as Marin keeps calling it, has brought us together for some reason. But like I said in that room, I barely know all of y'all, and I'm sure you all barely know me. So why don't we do an old-fashioned... I have me Quinn thing and just talk about who we are until we're friends, I guess. I'm listening, Awaka. Yeah, why don't you go first? I was about to. All right. I'm Awaka Makalaniat. I'm from the Westlands. And as you can see, I spread my full wingspan. The, we- <laughs> the feathers, the feathers like telescope out from my arms and form a full like hawk wingspan and as I pull my arms back they fold up against my arm again I'm an Aarakocra you gotta like warn us before you do that kind of shit man like I oh, my little heart Gorgeous. <sighs> I'm also a licensed bounty hunter which is why I'm no allowed to carry which is why I'm allowed to carry these and I open Whoa. up and I open up, uh, and I open up the, the the serape and showed off the shelled ammunition for both guns, because shelled ammunition is not allowed from, except if you're a licensed bounty hunter. And I close the serape again. I met Andy about a month and a half ago at a tavern, and uh, I got one of these notices. So I figured it'd be a nice way to get information and also to earn a little bit of coin. A month and a half? You you bicker like an, a married couple. Yeah, I was going to ask that. Are y'all dating? Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely uh, uh, not. No. No, 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 no. They went, no. no. Same no. room. Please. Same room. They went into no. the same room. Uh, pr- pr- That's just... No, no, it's, no. And you see Awaka's oh, feathers have ruffled up a bit on the face. Oh, <laughs> yes. God. I go I go to Luna and I grab their head and they cover the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but you shut up, Luna. This is weird. Right. Well, I will nug you just like I did as when we were children. Oh, no. Uh, right. Like, stop totally. it. <laughs> I lean over to Mary. I lean over to Mary. Lean over to Mary. Guess the honeymoon's over. Mm. Month and a half. That was quick. (laughs) Stop it. Uh, Knock it off. No more whiskey. Oh, I'll have another glass. (laughs) (laughs) I shake water. I shake water with the the glass. (laughs) Give me me a constitution (laughs) check. Uh, (laughs) No, they don't have a chance to drink it because I'd shape water it out of the glass. Just just from what they've already drank. Okay. Okay, Right. Um. (laughs) <laughs> That's a, seven, a sixteen. Okay, you're you're still you're still <laughs> okay. Obviously, you loosened up. I'll have some more <laughs> more later. Yes. I'll take his filled glass. So that so to, <laughs> how about a little bit later, and I'll start taking this. Right. <laughs> Marin goes. I want some here, and I give her the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> She's tiny. That's what. I've seen her hold more than you. (laughs) I'm just picturing her rolling back with like the the hind legs wrapped around the bottom (laughs) of the bottle. (laughs) That's exactly what she does. Like one of those wine bottle holders. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) She'll just do, you know, the teddy bear rock. All right. No. (laughs) Who's the bottle, the talking stick? I guess so. Go ahead. All right, she like hops up. You guys know me. I'm marrying. 
uh, formerly scale. known as thank, thank you, hey! not, thank you. Yes, formerly known as the Cotton Scale. Um, I'm a Terra Italian uh, gladiator, born and raised there. If you can't tell. Um, I have been obsessed with dragons for as long as I can remember. Well, my teacher taught me a lot about dragons, which is why I have th this little guy, um, Squibbles, right there. Um, yeah, I'm training to try and make him big. Really big. Um, yeah, I, I think I think that's about it. I got really bored with gladiatoring. Um, Gladiatorial. Thank, thank you, that word. Um, I keep, you know, I just keep winning. <laughs> uh, and I just thought that, uh, I don't know, I'm too young to just die in a gladiator ring, which I won't die in the gladiator ring because I keep winning. So that's why I'm here. See what life, what else life has. And <laughs> it looks like I got my answer. <laughs> yeah. Cool. With okay. what? The bottle? With the bottle, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh! Alright. Who's next? Wait, any questions? I think we can save that for the end. Alright, Professor Walker. <sighs> I hand over to Luna. Alright! <laughs> I'm Luna. Um... Well, I was uh, raised by the monks, but I wasn't really into dragons until m my mentor on their deathbed um, gave me draconic ancestry with, uh, well, with, with a touch of a hand, really, a giant vision uh, erupted in my soul and all that, and now I'm ascended to be a dragon warrior. Sort of. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, and like um, Errol Flynn, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's why fire was coming out of your fists. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it's very new. Uh, I'm still working on it, uh, but um, I know what I'm worth now, thanks to Arlen. And if it wasn't for her, I probably would have left you all kind of abruptly. With it would have been very rude. So, thank you, Arlen. To Cheers. Arlen. To Arlen. Cheers. <laughs> uh, speaking of Arlen, here's the ball. Your turn. Back off. She grabs it. We. Oui. <laughs> I've been learning. Sylvan. Mm, merci. Oui. It's very good. Merci. Um, she will first finish the glass that she was first given and then Ooh. fill it up again with the bottle Ooh. in her hand. The lushes in this group. <laughs> she has a valid reason. That's true. That's true. That's she died. True. I died, Michael. <laughs> he was frozen today. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, I suppose you all know me the least. Um, I am Arlen, and I come from Onor. Um, I come from the north and uh, from nowhere. It's, uh, I really, acres and acres of, of, uh, of land, all filled with cemeteries, and I care for it, I watch over them, and at night in the sky, You can see all the souls in just really 
and all these different colored lights and lumière. It's... I miss it. But I was told to come here and to... to work for the, the festival. If he... now... I, I don't know. And... Uh, In, in I, I don't know right I mean I shouldn't be here and yet that's very kind but it is confusing it is it doesn't feel wrong per se, but I, I was already given a second chance when when I was found in the woods then was when I shouldn't have been here so why was I given a third chance even if we all shared that same Tiamat rêve illusion or whatever it was. I don't know. Who told you to come here? Mon père. Mon père. I know grammar. Mentor um, taught me to never question fate, never question where you are. No, I'm not questioning the fate. I'm not or fate. I, I okay. I might be questioning that a bit. And that's okay. It's good to know. Winds have a habit of carrying you where they need to be. Exactly. Something that my um, mother used to say. Hmm. Wise woman. Mm -hmm. You don't, you have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maring will pipe up quite abruptly and fluent Sylvan, by the way, and says, you take fate by the balls <laughs> and you hang on. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that it was like guttural French. <laughs> just, just it's like quite fluent. It's quite fluent. Oh, but I'm, it not, is I'm not quite denying. Wrong. I'm not denying that it would be fluent. I just like, hope that it's like real deep country <laughs> France, kind yeah. of uh, <laughs> like Maurice Chevalier, just like <laughs> And then you cut and cut them off when you want to get off the ride. Well, sometimes they fall uh, off. I, I Rather, don't. you didn't. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Does My everyone bad. here oh, understand Sylvan? No <laughs> <laughs> right. Does everyone understand Sylvan? I don't understand Sylvan. I just I heard you talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will consider that marrying Merci. Um, <laughs> just like honestly taken it aback. Like, that's the way to put things. That's... <laughs> Um, a Socrates of filth. <laughs> 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 